And on this episode of Cautiously Optimistic, we have this from Let's Talk Movies. A Bioshock movie adaptation has been confirmed by Netflix, with Pirates of the Caribbean director Gore Verbushi leading the product. Now, the good thing is, when I read this headline, it doesn't say TV series. It says movie, which I think is very, very, very smart because I don't think you can get a TV show out of Bioshock. Because once you start with the adaptation, where you have to have six, eight episodes of multiple characters and multiple plot lines all coming together, that's when the creative writers start putting in the stuff that no one wants to see, that has... Nothing to do with the games. It goes to their own probably social justice ideas that they're just going to throw in there. And then we're going to hate it. And I'm saying that fully known that Netflix is a company that does this stuff all the time. I mean, look what they did to The Witcher. Look what they did to The Witcher. One of the easiest, easiest adaptations. I mean, the games are there. The books are there. You literally had to just do that. But no, 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 no. We'll get to that another day. Back to Bioshock. I do like that it's a movie. It's going to be, what, 90 minutes? Probably very, very action-packed. I think they have a lot to go with it. Pirates of the Caribbean director? That was a damn good movie, Pirates of the Caribbean. Great start. The question is, can you get 90 minutes out there? I think you could. I think you could. And the more I read the word movie and not miniseries or series, it makes me think, okay... They might actually get this right. And so, like I said, very simple. Just play the game and do that. But the question is, will they just stick to the script? The script that's literally being written for them from a game that was, what, 10, 15 years ago? You don't have to reinvent the wheel with Bioshock. It's already done for you. So in the end, what do you think about that? You think Netflix is going to do right by this uh, Bioshock movie? Or do you think they're going to go off in their own direction, filled with, you know, the diversity and the inclusion and things that no one ever cares about, ever cared about playing this game? Let me know what you guys think about that.